everyone, it's me Marete and I'm back again. Um, for this week's video I'm filming a Kindle unhauling, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail and the title etc etc. Um, that's what I'm filming. Again, I I had other videos planned but everything's sort of gone a bit tits up. So this is what I'm doing for today. I'm not returning any of these books, obviously I'm just going to remove them from my Kindle uh, because I want the space and... Yeah, I'm doing it on my phone because like I I just, I can't bother to actually do it on my real Kindle because that will just make this video so slow. So um, I'm hoping that the audio and everything is on is okay on this because I just tried to use my microphone and it just wouldn't connect um, and I can't use film on my phone and my camera's dead. Um, just too much is happening. So sorry if the audio is a bit funny um, but yeah anyway I'll just get into it um so yeah I'm just gonna remove some of these books and the books that I don't really want anymore on my kindle um yeah I hope this is good for you guys <laughs> um so the first book that I am going to be getting rid of is Sally Rooney Normal People I didn't particularly like this book um I did watch the series and I did fast forward through a lot of the series um the thing about uh, this book Normal People was that I actually read it and I got to like 80% and I like loved it and I said to my friend and my friend lives in New Zealand well Australia now but I said to her so there was time difference so I was like to her you need to read this book right um I think it's the most amazing book I've ever read and then the time difference so she was asleep and then I was awake um and then I finished the book and then I messaged her back promptly and was like, don't bother to read the book. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I am going to remove the book uh, because I didn't like it. I wanted to actually return the book when I read it uh, <laughs> initially. And I finished the book and I would never ever do that. Like, I would, Even if I don't like books, I would never like return them. Uh, I just wouldn't do that. But this was the only one that enraged me so much that I was like, I want to return it. Um, the only time Penny was interested in knowing this, that I returned a book, was I returned uh, Anna's Heirs, The Twist Me series, because I bought the collection, like, so it was like the three books in one, but they were all out of order, like the, I was reading like chapter 12, but then I hadn't even read chapter 10, so the book started to make no sense, so I was like, well, this is actually just a formatting issue, like, I can't this is unreadable because I'm spoiling what happens so I had to return that uh but yeah so I returned those and the next two books are Victoria Aveyard Aveyard I think that's how you say that um Aveyard I don't really know actually uh, the Red Queen series so uh Red Queen and Glass Sword I just don't care about those books um I think I have the physical copy of the other two or I don't know what's happened to the other two maybe I've already deleted them but yeah I'm gonna delete um yeah I'm gonna remove the series from my device because I do not care about the series and I do not want to read the series ever again um I just not interested in young adult and I really enjoyed the first book but I just didn't really like um the rest I think and then the next book that I'm gonna get rid of is The Silver Swan by Amma Jones and I don't think me and Amma Jones get on I don't think I like her writing style particularly I don't think she's a bad writer I just don't think she's for me uh which is perfectly fine everyone has their preferences um so I couldn't actually tell you what The Silver Swan is about actually I could it's the first book in the Elite Kings Club series um and I remember reading this in the car to go to the opticians um very specific very specific thing um but I do remember reading it and I remember you know yeah it just isn't for me and it ends on a cliffhanger so I do want to know how the rest of the books went but I just didn't actually ultimately care enough so yeah that is going to get um permanently deleted from my from my book my kindle because I just don't care about it basically sorry the next book is Sing to Me by V. Domino uh I actually this is by a very indie author so I really don't like to be really rude or I don't like to be really rude particularly about any books but um this was a mafia book and again it just I didn't love it I felt like there was a slight plot holes um in it and yeah I bought it because I want to support small indie authors um but I'm um, I'm never going to read it um, again. I think I did finish it. I'm never going to read the rest of the series. And then, what else have I got on here? 
that I just do not and will not read. Um, maybe the Acts of Atonement, uh, uh, Acts of Atonement, Men of Wrath series by Eleanor Aldrich. Again, I didn't mind this book, but I'm just not interested enough to read the rest of the series and I won't ever reread it. Um, so it feels like it's just better not being on my Kindle. They don't lose money. I'm about 900% sure when I do this. Uh, it's just delete. And it says if I want to buy it again, I'll have to, if I want to read it, I'll have to buy it again. So if I do want to read it, I'll just give them my money again. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually, I'm not doing anything uh, bad here. I'm hoping. <laughs> um. And the next book that I'm going to get rid of is Sweet Surrender by Zav R. Miller. I don't know if I even finished this book. This was another Mafia book. Um, I don't think I actually ever finished this. Um, again, I've seen this all for a lot on TikTok. Um, I've seen a lot of her other books on TikTok. And again, this I think this might have been her first book. So I don't ever want to be like too slaty or too mean. But And I never want to do that about anyone's work, even if it's a, like 80th book. But um yeah, this one just wasn't for me, really. So it's gonna go, permanently delete. A lot of these are, like, by small authors, so really sorry. And I probably could have read these on Kindle Unlimited, but I didn't have Kindle Unlimited at that point. So, um, yeah, so that's why. Um, these are... I've purchased all these. So the next one is Little Doll, Little Doll by LJ Finley. I didn't finish this one, I'm pretty sure. Again, by an indie author, so I don't want to be too slaty. Uh, but, yeah, it just didn't... It just didn't really float my boat. Um, I didn't like the pacing of it, I don't think. Um, it felt a bit too insta-love. Um, so, yeah. Permanently deleting. Um, I'm not returning these, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not buying them returning. And I've had these all on my Kindle for so long. I'm not returning these, I'm pretty sure. Let me check my Amazon. I'm really worried now that I'm returning these. But I'm not, I'm deleting. But it's just hard when it comes to ebooks. Yeah, no, so, like, that's the fine print. So if I wanted a refund, I'd have to return for refund. So I'm not doing that, obviously. There are some of these I should probably just delete because I won't ever read them. Like, there's so many on here that I've that are just free. And I've just never, ever... They're just free books. I'm never going to read them. Um, So I probably should just get rid of them. But I've got... Any, I don't like doing things like that. I like to keep them. But... Um, let me keep going and see if I find there's loads in here actually that I just haven't read. Uh, this one I think I'm going to get rid of. Storm by Carrie and Cole. I know she's got the rest of the series. Um, I just didn't really like this one. And I'm pretty sure I read this one like years ago. And then because I went and reread it, it felt so familiar. So I was like, maybe I haven't read it, but maybe there's just another book that is exactly like this. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get rid because um, I'm never going to. I'm never gonna read again. I think I definitely need to like um, read some of these because they're just free on my Kindle instead of buying new books. So I can just read some of these. I didn't realize how many how many things had like got um, new covers because I'm looking at some of these and I don't even recognize them. But they're just they're just new covers. Um, I'm gonna be honest, my book. But I don't have the money to update the cover, so <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm probably going to get up, get rid of this one, Knocking Up His Bride by Mink. It was a novella. I don't know why I bought this. Um, don't know why I bought this. I assume I might not have had Kindle Limited at this point, but I think I did. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Exodus by Kate Stewart. I'm really going to get rid of that um, because I did not like that series at all, uh, the Raven Hood series. Um, the second book was the best book in the series, I felt as though it didn't need to be a three-part series. Um, I found the first bit really pretentious. All the things he was saying, it was just too much. So I think I'll get rid of Built for Love, which is by Ella Good, And that is a novella. I don't remember that being anything particularly amazing. So I'll just delete it. Um, if I'd had Kind Unlimited, I probably would have borrowed it, then returned it. So I'm not too bothered by deleting it. Um, a lot of these books I won't ever reread, so I'm really not bothered. I could delete Credence and Birthday Girl, but I won't, because they're still really trendy at the minute. Um, so I don't want to, like, delete them. I need to look something up on them, basically. Um, and the next book that I'm going to delete is Andre? 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 I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, by Naomi West. Again, I don't remember this book. I have a feeling it was quite short. I definitely did read this, 
but I have a thing that's quite short and I really am just not I won't ever reread it so there's no point in me keeping it basically so I'm gonna permanently delete it from my kindle uh return to us by Corinne Michaels Again, I had Kindle Unlimited by this point, so these books were all books that were not on Kindle Unlimited, which is annoying. Um, so, Return to Us by Corinne Michaels. This was like a small town, uh, like second chance sort of romance. I uh, did not really like it. Um, it was just all right to me. It wasn't anything amazing. So, I'm going to permanently delete that. I'm never going to reread it. The next book, I don't even want to actually delete it because... It was £5, but I didn't like it. I'm not going to read the rest of the series. It was Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Um, I am was actually quite annoyed by this because I don't mind spending £5 on a Kindle book. Well, actually, that's a lie. I don't love it. I understand why it has become that expensive because people like rip off the book, so that's the only way of making money back off of it. All this sort of stuff, I do understand why the prices have risen, but um, it just is quite annoying to have spent five pounds on a book that I a Kindle book I don't even own that physical book and I won't like it and I haven't liked it that to me is quite um it's not the best of feelings um I'm obviously not gonna ask for a refund obviously not um I understand I'm not I'm not into that uh but I am not um I don't know. I'm all for, I really want authors to make them a lot of money. That's what I really do want. But I do not completely agree with a five pound ebook, especially when I could go into a shop and get a physical book for nine pound. And I've actually got a physical book. Um, so yeah, there's something about that rubs me the wrong way. That so I'm going to delete that. I'm not going through the rest of the series because I did not like the first book. So. Uh, the next book that I'm going to get rid of is Kiss Me by Willow Winters and Amelia Wilde. I didn't... I like Amelia Wilde a lot. There's something about Willow Winters writing that I don't love. Um, that was my second book by her and I didn't really like the first book. And I didn't like this book. So I'm deleting it. I'm not going to read it. Never going to finish it. I didn't finish it. So there's no point. And the next one is Dangerous King by Sienna Snow. Again... I didn't finish it. I didn't like it. Me and Sienna Snow's writing don't get on. Um, that's just the end of that. Um, it's got to go. It sounds a bit of a good cleanse. I don't know which book I'm going to read now. I have no idea. But anyway, that was sort of the video. Sorry if it was negative. I don't like being rude about books. I just wanted to get rid of a lot of books that are on my Kindle. I thought I was going to get rid of more of the free books that I've downloaded. But my issue is that I don't want to delete them and then have to buy them if I come stumble across them and think they're good I'll see you next week for my for the wrap up I'm pretty sure it's wrap up next week yeah I'll see you next week for um my April wrap up I really haven't read very much this month so there's that um but thank you so much for watching we shall speak soon um if you could like if you could subscribe if you could comment anything that you're reading me I'm always interested to know and we shall speak soon, so thank you for watching and goodbye.